I didn't set out to try and make a topical record about the internet and technology. It felt really taboo and weird and I felt embarrassed about it. But it was also this thing that was so obviously prevalent in my life and in everyone else's life that I can't just pretend it doesn't exist and write like a love song about driving in a car or something. Open the sunlight, open the sunlight. Oh. The new record is called The Future's Void. I like that it has kind of a number of different ways it can be interpreted. I grew up in South Dakota, really kind of like growing up in a void. So even though there's nothing there, you can kind of also make what you want out of the void. You can put meaning into it, but it's still terrifying to do so. Satellites was one of the first ideas that I had for the record, and I really like this kind of like this binary harsh noise, deep bass, harsh noise, deep bass, and this, you know, the simulacrum of like fake human hand claps come in. Like, sonically, in some ways, like sums up a lot of the themes on there. The new record does have more electronics on it. It's just not electronic music like people think about it being on a grid. It's like more of these synths played by human beings taking inspirations from tons of different genres. In that way, stylistically, I think it's very like pro-technology and pro-internet. Is there a signature sound that we're looking for in, in terms of a certain type of layered distortion or noise. Unconsciously, yes, and I think that Erica understands that sound very intuitively, and she knows exactly whether when it's there or not. Certainly half, if not more, of the sounds on this record are, are purely digital, only software, and the other half are analog or acoustic. And I think that fuzzy sound that we're looking for is not necessarily analog or digital. Uh, it's sometimes a mix. There is sort of a tension here sort of folk music trying to pull this way and electronic music trying to pull this way. And it's sort of the intersection of that, but then, you know, regardless of what's happening, Erica's voice and her lyrics are, are clear enough to kind of bind something as messy like that. I think it's just an yeah. aesthetic that I really have always liked, you know? It's yeah. something that's always made sense to me, this kind of noisy pop thing. So The most pop song on the record is probably So Blonde. People really love this verse, chorus, verse thing. And it was so musically easy to write, it felt almost criminal. But lyrically, it was a lot more difficult. Whereas like, if I can kind of just let my mind go free and improvise, I find that like a lot easier to write lyrics. A lot of them right now are, have to do with the language that people use all the time, but hasn't really made it into music yet. people are like, oh, she used the word interwebs in the song, that's so barf. Oh, I'm not supposed to say this? Like, there's a rule that I'm not supposed to use this language? Like, oh, it's perfect. And I usually find that when I'm having that reaction, that probably means that I should pursue it. People love to talk to me about the internet right now. And maybe it's my fault for putting myself in like a virtual reality helmet on the front. Like maybe that wasn't the smartest idea if I didn't want it to be taken like a concept record. One thing I just want to, you know, let people know is like, okay, it's not all about technology. It's not all about the internet. There's some really like kind of beautiful musical songs. I guess it's just a We go to a lot of rock shows and, I mean, let's admit it, you know, a lot of times if, unless you love the band half the way through, you're like, that's cool, I, I get it. There's no rule that like a rock band has to be like, you know, four dudes, two with guitars, one with bass and drums. We don't have to just do that. Leif has maxed out his credit card buying 250,000 LEDs about, yeah, about. from China. So he's like, soldering them, programming them. Well, there is all this computation available to us, and there are these magnificent, cheaply made, you know, multicolor LEDs, so is it possible to 
you know, take that same kind of tool set that the majors can afford and sort of do a DIY version of that. And then we can sort of inject different energies onto the stage and try and figure out how to extend the, the literature of the record. We're interested in technology, the record deals with technology and we just like have fun like messing with it. It makes sense just to synthesize it. I think it's possible that in the future it's this kind of distinction between what is a construct and what is your in real life identity. That distinction is going to become more and more irrelevant. You know, I'm myself in real life and then I'm this other thing you know, online, and when my avatar gets away from me, it kind of freaks me out. And I realize maybe the, one of the ways, instead of things getting away from me, it's possible that maybe I can create my own images. That's the void. It's terrifying, but if you can figure out a way to fill it, then you're kind of more in control. Ain't coming out that well. I've got a brand new smell. Ain't coming out that well.